Alright YouTube, what's up? It's Chris here. I touch iApps, and today I'm bringing you guys an application available in the App Store. Its name is Arcade Bowling. It's not what you guys might think it is, as in the game where you actually throw the bowl down the lane and try to knock down the pins. It's actually the game that you guys would see in a real arcade, um, where you have to get it into different point slots to score that certain amount of points. We try to get that in frame and in focus for you. Right there, as you guys can see, it's this kind of arcade bowling where you roll your little uh, ball up there. I believe it's called Ski Ball or something like that. Um, so let's go ahead. This application, guys, you guys, for a limited time, you can pick it up for $1.99 in the App Store. Once again, it's only for a limited time. So I recommend that you guys go pick up this application while you still can. It's right up here, arcade bowling. Go ahead and open this game up. You guys may also realize this or recommend or remember this game, excuse me, um, or name from Arcade Hoops Basketball. That's the other game that this uh, Skyworks company or developer made. So it kind of looks like that. That's why you guys are remembered from. So as you guys can see here, just like in the Arcade Hoops, you have Classic, Progressive, and then two high scores. So in Classic, you can go into here, and what this is is just just a regular game. You get ten balls to, to that you get. And you have to see, you get your high score possible. When you first go into the game, up here, this, there's this little black screen. That's where they're going to show how many points that you just recently got. And the goal in the progressive mode. But it's also functions as the pause. So you can go ahead and click up here. And it'll pause it and ask you if you want to resume. You click yes or no. I'm going to go ahead and click yes because we did just start. It says go once you first open up this application. Down here is the number of balls you have left. is 9. And you have 1 over here, so that's 10. As you guys can see... Up there is 100, 100, 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10. You want to try to get for the hundreds or around in this middle area. Don't go for the 10. So this game is actually really fun and really addicting. What you have to do is take your one finger or whatever and uh, slide it and hope for the best. You don't want to slide it too slow and you don't want to slide it too fast. Because if you do that, that can alter you getting a 10 or something really low. So go ahead and just flick it smoothly. There you go. You see I got 30 points. Uh, if you just take your time with it, don't try to rush it like this. Like, if you're trying to rush it, you'll wind up just going all the way back around to the 10. Um, I've played this game for a little while now. I have not been able to get to the 100s. Uh, see, I just tried it there. I've not been able to get to the 100s or the 50. I've only been able to get to the 40 and the 30. Uh, which is alright, because those do also help you out a lot with your scoring. As you guys can see right now, my overall score right now is a 70. Uh, 10 more points just made it 80. So it is a really kind of addicting game. Uh, I wish in this classic mode that you got a little bit more than 10 balls, say maybe like 15 or 20. So it did go on just for a little bit longer. Um, but it's, it's an exception. It's alright. It's nothing that's going to change me not wanting to get this application. Uh, it's really fun. It does take complete control of the whole touch function here, the flick. As you guys can see right there, it says game over. I ended at 110. This does have a high score function, so I'm going to go ahead and click done, because that is my name in there. You can type in whatever name you want. Go ahead and click done. As you can see, I should see here, it will then list your high scores, some ads at the bottom. That's their other application right there. Um, it'll list all the high scores. You can see I'm all the way there at the bottom at 150. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just click here. I'll bring you back to this main screen. I'm going to go ahead and play progressive now. And what progressive is, is that progressive sets you a goal. It sets this one goal that you have to reach to be able to advance or try it again. So you just click to start. It says ready, set, go. And then it says right there your goal. So your goal is 200. So what you want to do is add up all your points and have them all equal up to 100. Uh, up to 200. Sorry about that. Uh, so let's try to get that here. There we go. I got a 30. Oh, got a 50. It's my first time. Let me just lower this just a tad. Let's keep trying to just roll this little ball up there. Hope for the best. This game does have some pretty cool graphics. Uh, the coloring, if you guys, you guys probably won't be able to make it out that well in this video because my camera isn't the greatest. Uh, the coloring is actually pretty cool. It does look pretty, uh, pretty cool with all the neon colors. You guys see there's a lot of neon colors. You guys might see them flickering. Uh, the colors up here around each section are nice. There's blue in the middle, like a deep purple. The scoreboard changes colors. Um, I like how they threw in half and half of the next door or the next ski ball things to the right, to the right, and to the left. Makes it feel more like you're actually there. As you guys can see, that once you're over with that, I did not reach the goal. You can still put in a high score, but it's not going to show up just because you didn't reach the goal that you were supposed to reach. 
But in this progressive mode, it does keep going on and on. The score, the goal gets higher and higher. Um, and then if, at any time, if you wish, you can go here, check out your high scores, brag to your friends, they can brag to you or whatever. There's a little eye for information out here, which just gives you a little how to play, your music, your sound effects. You can change that soundtrack to either be the first one that you guys heard or change it to that one, which is a little bit more techno. And then also down here, it has the credits and just so on and so on. Alright, um, just one more quick little thingy. When you're in this game, and say you see one of these little sections flashing, you guys might have seen that in this following review. You saw one of these little sections flashing, you might have seen 30 or 40 flashing. I'll just try to get that. Um, that counts as five times multiplier for that certain score on whichever color is flashing. So that's what you really want to look out for, because if you guys can nail one of those, you'll be set on that progressive game if you can get one of those. Uh, that'll really help you out. Just throwing in some extra gameplay for you guys here. Really fun application. I really do recommend that you guys go check this application out. Arcade Bullock for the Apple Touch and iPhone. Right now on sale for $1.99. Not going to be there forever at that price. So really go check it out. Um, really fun application, guys. Thanks for watching this app review. Brought to you guys by iTouch iApps. Uh, favorite, comment, rate, subscribe. Please check out the website over there in the video description. AppleUpdaters.com. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.